Hello everyone and welcome back for another Christmas anime figure opening video today. In the last video we opened up our Christmas Miku figure for 2019, so I wonder what Santa has brought us for our second figure. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So it looks like Santa has given us two stockings. So let's have a look and see what figure we're going to be opening today. Although I think the title probably gives it away, but you, you know what I mean, alright? Hello everyone, and thank you for coming back for another anime figure opening video today. It's another Christmas video, and we do have another present from Santa to open. I'm sure you all know, as you have probably seen the thumbnail, but I'm going to open this up anyway, so let's take a look inside. This time, it's going to be, and I think this is the front, it's going to be a Rem figure! Woo! <laughs> but it's going to be our precious Christmas Rem figure. Oh my god, I am excited to open this up. So, let's kick off by having a quick look at the box. So as you can see, we have our Precious logo up here. There have been a lot of Precious figures come out this year with different REMs. We saw a few earlier this year with the bikinis. There's a few we haven't got because I just don't want to keep filling up this channel with REMs. This is an exception, it's Christmas, so please let me off. <laughs> but we have the Precious logo up here. Down here we have Precious figure REM, uh, also in Japanese there, so you can all study. And then we have our original winter version special. And oh my god, she looks so cute. Ah, oh, Rem is amazing, but Christmas Rem, that's a whole new level of just amazingness. <laughs> but there you go, that's Rem on the front. And on the side, we have Rem from a different angle. She is looking like she is skipping or jumping. Actually, it looks like she's jumping there. We also have ReZero starting life in another world here. We also have a silhouette in the background of a town, which is cool. There's a few little stars there. Ah, oh, it's adorable. When we come over here, we have Rem from behind. We also have our Jaya Prize and Taito logos up here. So interesting to have them on a different part. Down there, we have our ReZero logo, again with Rem from behind and these silhouettes. Um, although it's creepy that this arm is coming over. It looks like one of those weird angled photos. And then on this side, Rem is just taking up the whole front part. No text, no nothing. And again, you could probably cut this out and frame it because it does look very, very cute. But just looking at the photo, it looks like there's already a lot of detail that I'm going to have to talk about, especially on that sweater. But there you go, that's the front. On the top we have, what do we have here? Precious Figure Rem Original Winter Version with our Kadokawa sticker. And then down here on the bottom we have our warning information. So there you go. Oh hi camera! Hello! <laughs> okay, let's open her up. Okay, in with the knife. This was a figure that we didn't win in the Game Center. Uh, again, it was another figure that we won online. Sorry, not one. We bought. We won it with money that we spent on the shop. <laughs> um, but yeah, she cost about 2,500 yen. I just didn't have time to actually go out to the game center and win it. So there we go. But regardless, we have her now. So let's open her up. Um, oh, plastic. Hey, it's been like four or five figures since we've had any plastic casing. And what do we have? Oh, she's adorable. Look at that. Can't really see much behind the plastic. Oh, there you go, there's a face. <laughs> so it looks like we have a figure and a stand. Um, again, beautiful design. We'll have a look at that in a second. Okay, let me get this all unpackaged. One second. Okay, stand. And here is the stand. And the stand is also like the previous Miku figure, a frosty white color with a bit of a translucent or transparent kind of uh, see-through part. Hello, we can see all the way through there. Um, but this also has a beautiful blue white round circle around the edge, beautiful bow and a bell in the middle. Seems to be the Christmas theme this year. A few snowflakes littered around the base here. Sorry, my hand in the background is kind of hiding them. Uh, ReZero, starting life in another world, Rem there at the bottom, which makes me think there might be a Ram because this one is specifying Rem. And then two holes of two different sizes here. On the back, you probably cannot see, but there is a tiny, tiny bit of text there, which says the TNK ReZero, Taito Corporation made in China. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful stand. All right, let's put that down. And of course, the figure herself. And oh my God, she is so cute. I cannot wait to get into the details. So, well, why not? Let's just get straight into it. 
So, as you can see, Rem is as adorable as always. She has this beautiful blue eye over here, and over here this eye is closed as if she is winking. This still looks kind of creepy. We did see this on one of the title figures before where the winky eye was kind of shut down, and then this was open quite wide. Um, still kind of unsettling, but there you go. Her nose sticks out a little bit there, and her mouth is wide agape with uh, a little bit of a deep bit that goes inside. She even has some teeth there, which you can see, which is cool. And again, the different shades of pink, so you can see the depth in her mouth. She also has a little bit of blusher on her face. It must be cold outside. But even minus the weird eye thing, this is so cute. Just, just don't, don't focus on it. Don't focus on it. <laughs> you can see that her bangs come down in the middle, as always. This is a bit open here, just so you can actually see the winky eye. And this has the blue down to the frosted color. Again, love this design. They do this a lot in the Rem figures. And being Christmas, it has a kind of snowy ice feel to it. So, wonderful. She also has a ribbon here in her hair. This time it's red. Um, of course, it is Christmas. And the same for this little ribbon here. This is also red. Although it comes up a little bit more like she is jumping up in the air. Because it does look like she is jumping up. Um, so, that's pretty cool. The hair at the back here is a little bit more messy than normal. Uh, this is not a bad thing. It actually feels a little bit more natural. Some hair is kind of coming off randomly here. But I think that's because she's wearing this big red Santa hat on her head. This has a wonderful pattern to it on the fluffy part here. And it has a beautiful fold going off like this. I think it's very difficult to kind of get this pattern in any hat unless it's got a lot of starch in it. But regardless, this looks kind of cool. And it's probably again because she's jumping. So yeah, wonderful. Okay. That's her head. Okay, and moving down her body, you can see that she is not wearing as much as she probably should be. If she's wearing a Santa outfit, it's probably going to be cold outside. Um, but she has this beautiful red shawl on. The material here is very plasticky. Uh, it has a few nice kind of folds here. Not as detailed as the Miku figure that we previously opened, so not too bad. There is also this white ruffle going around her neck. And again, this is the outside of the shawl all the way around. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of a paint issue here at the back. It seems that it hasn't really been painted too well. Again, I'm probably not going to see it because it's going to be looking at from the front, but it is not the best. So that's a shame. That's a shame. But the rest of the figure does actually make up for it because as you can see on her top here, which I must also say is extremely, well, extremely low material, unless it's some new thermal material, it has this beautiful texture to it. These precious figures are always very, very good at making things look like they're textured, like actually looking like wool or at like some kind of cotton or whatever. Um, but there is a lot of detail going on there. And that's quite a big bust. I don't think she was that well endowed, but there you go. I guess figures are figures. She also has a bow with a bell connecting her shoulder together. This time it's green and well, dark green and light green. And the bell itself here is in the middle, but it looks like there's a little bit more detail here, which is cool because there's a little kind of uh, bell ring inside there. So pretty. She also has three little Santa kind of balls going down here. No, nope, these are not Santa balls. I'm an idiot. These are just balls of fluff. Um, so that's kind of cool design. And then going around the bottom, she is wearing a very mini, 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 mini skirt. Wow, how many times can I say mini? Um, this is extremely <laughs> short. So I'm trying very, very careful not to show you the pants. But again, this has the same texture as up here. You can also see that her belly button is on show in between the two. So that must be quite a cold area. And she has two bows on the side, one over here, which is beautiful. And the same over here of the same quality. Her mini skirt also has the same kind of fluffy pattern going all the way around the edge. And it looks like there are a few more kind of folds here. So that's pretty nicely done. But finally, moving down from her skirt to her legs, she is also wearing thigh-high stockings. These are just white. Unfortunately, it does look like there's a bit of a connection issue here between this part of the leg and the top half. Um, I'm actually kind of disappointed by that. I wonder if I can squeeze that in. Nope, that's stuck like that forever. Oh well. One leg is skipping quite high up with the other one like this. Um, and then if we move down to her boots, she has kind of like Ugg boots on. These are also adorable. They have this beautiful fluff kind of going around the edge at the top, coming down in red. There's a few folds here. And then there is a white sole down here. So that's also pretty cool. You can also see there is this clear plastic, which is made of the same plastic that the stand is made of, because this will go into the stand, of course. And when it's standing upright, it will look as if she is skipping or at least kind of getting ready to run or jump. 
So, cute! I do like that. Okay, so, I guess it's time to get you in your stand. One second. And here is our Rem in her stand. And wow, this is very, very pretty. Minus a few little bits with the leg and a little bit of a paint problem around the back of the hat. This is beautiful. I do like this a lot. Um, I forgot to mention that her hands are up like this, so she is clearly, clearly jumping. Uh, this hand has a nice lot of detail to it. You can actually see every finger has been detailed separately. No nails, unfortunately. And this one is closed. Um, but yeah, lovely, lovely figure. Okay, let's give you all a few pretty shots. Let's take a look. Wow. Okay, and time to take you to the Christmas display. Here we go. So yeah, it's very, very nice to have a Christmas rem. We have had nothing but Christmas Miku figures for such a long time, so it's nice to shake things up a little bit. She does also have some space up here with the other girls. So in you go. And there you are. Wow, you are so pretty up here. That's wonderful. And here we have the full display. We have our Mikus up here. We have a few other characters like our Rem. We have our Nintendo balls and blah, blah, blah. But beautiful, beautiful figure. So thank you all again for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do give us a like and please subscribe for more anime figures coming very, very soon. Love you all and Merry Christmas. Okay, bye.